Time once again for the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We are in the human trill leg of Zanziar. But in order for us to return to Zanziar, we have to remember what happened last time. It was a week ago for me. I don't know how long it is between your viewings, but if you're following along as I go, um, it was, it's been roughly a week or so for you as well. Uh, last time was a, was a time of sacrifice, is what I recall. A sacrifice for Chopper, who, um, used his little prince to surprise the Dragon Queen. It's been so long, I don't, don't even remember what her name is. Um, but the little prince sacrificed himself and his army to defeat the, the Dragon King, Queen, um, and a lot of Chopper's resources. Uh, Chopper also lost his capital city of Daphod in the whole deal. I don't know if I even talked about that. Um, I did actually play a turn last week, but then something happened. I wasn't able to finish the video, so I'm kind of just starting afresh. Um, and in that turn, uh, the ghost of Torvar did take a new town, another large town. Unfortunately, it's not in Haugen, though, so um, if Chopper's going for controlling all of Haugen, uh, he's going to find that difficult, because right now he only controls one town in Haugen. Um, so he, he took um, Basilia here, and that is where Chopper is. Um, without his little prince, sacrificed on the altar of the Dragon Queen, and protected, you know, the whole, the whole, um, all of Zanziar from the Dragon Queen lot. She was going to, she was all set to slaughter, but the prince jumped in there and died. That's all I have to say about that right now. And in the aftermath of Chopper's kind of pyreic victory, I think that's what you would call it, uh, Sweet Pea is looking good. She has three actions, essentially, because she has three adventures to Chopper's one, um, Snugbug also only has one. She's up here. She's taking town. She has all her people doing things. Uh, let's see what she's going to do next. What follows is an account of what Sweet Pea's adventures accomplished. So, Greensburg, the orc shaman, fresh off of defeating that um, adventure. Do you remember that adventure? There was a rebel camp. I'm kind of remembering that myself. She lost a wizard and I think some armies to it. Uh, Grisbrug, the orc shaman, uh, took out that rebel camp, and then he just returned home to her, I guess her de, de facto capital city of Aduria, where she began, um, and took some, some units from Orin the Scald, which allowed Orin to recruit more without having to send the units to reinforce. Um, Orin's pretty much always successful when recruiting in Aduria. Uh, yeah, if we look at the table here, um, yeah, all he has to do is roll a one or higher, and it's a, the lowest number on this die is a one. So he'll always recruit something, just whether he recruits one or two. And then Honeypot the Chieftain um, scared off um, a legion that was part of, uh, that was protecting Polvis up here. And so now it's just a couple of Kadukian peasant groups protecting. Uh, Polvis. So she, she'll decide next turn whether she wants to just go ahead and lay, lay siege. It's a little difficult. Um, Polvis has good defense, or if she wants to just continue to talk them out of, of leaving. Um, the advantage of doing one over the other is talking them out of leaving, she's pretty much got a sure bet on that because just so many units with a decent con score, two is a decent con score in this game, um, that it adds up that they just kind of bully them out of there. But it takes longer. It would take two turns for her to take the city that way. If she, want, if she attacked, she could do it in one turn, but perhaps at the cost of some of her own people. All right, so Snugbug is leaving his, his whole group, except for whoever he has in Raptusar, uh, which is his sole town down here in the south, uh, east, very far away from everyone else. Um, his whole group headed off this way, leaving the dog behind. The dog is going to keep searching for items, and we'll just roll on that right now. Dog is successful. Might get two. I think they only get one, though. Um, look at that later. So the dog has an item. Uh, the rest of his group, the way I'm playing, I think I probably already explained this, if you don't actually get anywhere on a turn, um, that's when you draw one of these movement cards, just so something always happens. So here they're on land. This is the worst one. Challenges a hero slash adventurer to a verbal duel. So it has to either be their, either be con or diplomacy. I think this is the one that turns you into a, a pig. Um, yep. If the if they are win, the heroes win, they get their magic points back. If the hero adventurer loses, the archmage 
turns a random army from your group permanently into pigs. All right, so this could be really bad. Um, Archmage has a con of six, and the hero has a con of two. That's really rough. I'm going to say that if she wins, if Sweet Sweet Viatis of Nixon Lake wins, she gets a whenever card. Because this is a this is a almost adventure like. I think there is an adventure actually like this. Um, so is it even possible? Yeah, I guess if the Archmage rolls a one and she rolls a six. All right, Archmage. Um, they're going to try to con each other. She's trying to trick the Archmage. Archmage got a three, so that's a nine. I don't think she can beat it, but we'll try anyway. Five, close. If she just had rolled a seven, she would have tied, and I think she would win then. So they're going to get, um, one of these is going to turn into an army of pigs. Um, this one, two. We'll re-roll a six. Okay, we'll re-roll that six. Four. One, two, three, four. The trained peasants of Cuddock are now a herd of pigs. Chopper just got lucky. He went into south from Basilia, sent the ghost south to Nizni Tagil. Um, just tried a straight diplomacy roll, which he had a, you know, he had a one point deficit on that. How diplomacy works is you do it against everyone, so he had to compare the ghosts of Torvar's diplomacy, which is zero, plus 1d6 against their total, which was one, plus 1d6. They rolled a one, he rolled a three, so that means he gets Derek the Dragon Warrior to join his team, and a unit from the second Legion of Gori. Derek the Dragon Warrior is great, because that's going to give him another action on his next turn. So, I'll have him divvy up his armies. Sweet Pete decided to siege Pulvis. Um, so these guys are going to be at six each, but they're, they go in the con row, so they're going to con them. I think the attackers con first, so they're going to do six against two, one of the Caducium peasants. Um, they have nine. The Caducium peasant has six. That's going to give... The target won't fight in this battle, so this Caducium peasant is going to sit out. Um, I don't know if that what happens if the battle's over, but we'll see. This Caducian peasant gets to then try to con, I guess he'll try to con the Nori Rite Raiders, Riders, and it has a four. The Nori Riders has a seven. That's much better. Um, so four minus seven is negative three. The unit using con leaves the combat situation. The card goes back in your hand, but cannot be used during this combat. This neutral unit, discard it. So we'll discard that one, which I take to mean it goes back in there. And I'm thinking they both just kind of go away. I think that's the simplest way to deal with it. So, the Kadekian peasants, protecting Polvis, ditch town, leaving it to Sweet Pea. Griesberg, um, Griesberg, Sweet Pea's orc shaman, uh, he got favorable weather and took control of this mine here. Very nice. He left town. He has some, an army with him. That's what he's doing. Orin did some recruitment. Snugbug's dog uh, dug up the wrong grave, I think. Pissed off the people of Bratisar, and so they have um, disowned Snugbug and his dog. So I think this first legion from Gori goes away. We'll go into this, this pile, and we'll get shuffled back in. We're going to have to leave it there with Chopper's turn. I have a, I have a lot of time left, actually, this time that I, I could continue filming. However, today is the 5th of July, which, if you are in my country, you know that that is the day after the night where, at least in my community, people feel like they have license to set off explosions all night, uh, which is very difficult to sleep through. So I'm, I'm flagging, and I feel like there's something important that's happening between the ghost and the dragon boy. Um, so I feel like that needs some time to develop. It's going to be Chopper's turn next turn. Um, some of you might be grateful for the shorter video. Um, I don't know what this clock's in as, but I feel like it's in the 10 range rather than the 20 range, which I think is, is a lot of my videos have been getting like 20, 30, some in 45. It's just maybe a, a bit too, too big of a bite to chew. So maybe this will be a, a good thing. Um, 